Good Friday morning to you. Well, we've got some uh, markings in the uh, garden here. But that is, and I don't really want to put these guys too much on camera, so I may blur them out. But you might have noticed the markings down in that area. Um, because ultimately, this housing tract is like 50 years old. So the transformers have gotten old and they're actually starting to cause them some problems. So they've, the city has decided to start replacing a whole bunch of transformers, including the one right out in front of our house, which has been in the street. And they're ultimately going to move it above ground. But yesterday we just politely asked them, okay, if you put this big transformer right out in front of the house, this would be this giant hulking thing that they do not look pretty. Um, and we'd be looking right out our living room window at this transformer. So we asked them if they could move it over here to the other side of the driveway. That's what we're looking at right now. So they have marked out where the area they need. And I'm going to see what I can do about moving some of these plants um, actually, my father was talking about the other Sago palm here. He says it's a Sago, I'm not sure. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't think we need to move it, uh, or I can trim it back at least. Uh, this agave could go, that's not a big deal. Uh, the bird of paradise I think we want to save. So it's just a matter of figuring out where certain things are going to go. Change of scenery. As it turns out, I can't really do much out front because I need to pull tools out of the garage and that requires opening the garage door, which requires electricity, which they've got shut off right now. So, looking back at the uh, lemon pike fence, or I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to call this, but uh, last night, uh, again, repeatedly set off and no sign of any animal. So, I'm going to reposition the two security lights. So maybe it'll a little bit, be a little bit more obvious which one turns on uh, at what point because I couldn't tell uh, the way I have them positioned which one was turning on or if both of them were turning on. So I couldn't really detect much. Uh, so I'm going to just readjust them and that's pretty much it for that. Okay, so it's a bit later. I got kind of caught up in what was going on out front with the electrical. Electrical is back on now. They've basically bypass the old transformer, set up a temporary. That way they can pull out the old one and do all the work they need to do. I still need to get out front and figure out the plan for how I'm gonna deal with all of the stuff out there. But I did get back here, and maybe you can see up in the, sort of in the center of the picture there, um, I've got one of the uh, security lights, and then I have another one sitting uh, up against this tree kind of in the middle of the picture but at the base so they're kind of at cross purposes and uh, anything that comes in is going to trigger one or both of them so hopefully that takes care of that little issue now let's go out front and just kind of look at things okay so you know I was trying to figure this out and then I realized there's also the issue we've we got a couple of nice big cracks in the retaining wall uh, so whether or not we should repair it or if they're going to try and repair it because their lines go right up in a corner right up against the wall and I don't think they're going to want the wall falling over on the the uh, transformer that they're going to put here so gotta answer that question um, looking at the line here we've got a big rock here we've got a big rock right in the middle um, we've got the agaves here I'm thinking we just pull the agaves I can give them to my brother now that he's got uh, his sprinkler system kind of up and running. Um, the snake plants in the back and the one covered in white um, are basically all the snake plant in this sort of area. Uh, I don't think anything's really going to grow well behind the transformer and I don't think we want anything to grow behind the transformer because then we're having to crawl in behind the transformer which is a high voltage device. So we've got to figure out, I did ask the guys if they needed like a buffer around the outline and he said, oh no, 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 don't worry about it. Um, but I want to get the uh, Bird of Paradise out. 
I think I can get the agave and I get another agave and then I can take this rock and move it over there. Um, the snake plant, I think I can just redistribute. Uh, the question was to, what to do about the palm here. And so dad's suggestion had been to take that clump of grass there, uh, which I have to keep giving a haircut. Uh, just take that out and move the palm over. Let's see what that's going to look like from this side. That was one of my concerns, was I was like, oh, okay, wait a minute, I'll take the bird of paradise and move it where this is. No, well, there's another bird of paradise right there. So maybe it does make more sense. Move the palm over here, uh, and then maybe I can stick the bird of paradise back in behind there. So you can see, there's a little bit of thinking that has to go on. Um, ultimately, what I'll probably do, I think the grass is doomed. We're going to pull that out. There's probably way too much snake plant back here. I can probably thin that out and then just kind of run it along the wall, um, which means we'll probably end up with too much snake plant. Um, although I could take the snake plant and continue running it this way. The other thing to consider is, and it may not be obvious just from a picture, uh, the sprinkler, the irrigation pipes actually run right under where they're gonna go and over to this is the last one. So the question becomes, do I try and go up and around and behind it? Which then makes maintenance a nightmare once the transformer's in. Or do I do something different? Um, I could sort of terminate here and maybe T and run some quarter inch line back behind that would be easier to maintain. Then I could run it along a wall and just put another one up in this corner here, spraying back this way. Um, although I don't want it to spray too hard and end up hitting the uh, transformer box either. So uh, maybe I'll run it along the wall and then I could run some quarter inch over here, put a micro and then just keep running the quarter inch along the wall and put another micro here, something like that. So I've got to think through all of those things. This is kind of, this is why today's kind of a disjointed day. Um, we were without power for a little bit, so I couldn't get to the tools, but now it's a little too late to really do too much work in the garden. So it's really just sort of thinking stuff that I have to think through. So I'm gonna run through these plans with my parents, see what they think. And uh, we'll go from there. So that's it for today. Let's see what tomorrow brings.